or just protect ourselves from this artificial intelligence because there is only one intelligence that's human intelligence yes sir because uh, human can do things far better than a machine mm. but there is a limitation of a human also mm. he can't calculate a, a vast number a number mm. he can't remember anything maybe he will be a python python is easy to learn how Just because if in a c c++ mm. you are writing a code we, first of all you have to import all these stuffs like uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, code uh, codes okay miss nikita right so are you nikita or nitika i'm nitika nitika yes. that's great not nikita no okay fine introduce yourself first uh, good evening sir first good of evening. all thank you for giving me an opportunity to explore myself it's it is a great opportunity for me that today i'm here for uh, explaining myself for uh, introducing myself for expressing my views here Uh, my name is Nitika and I'm from Jammu and Kashmir. I had my uh, schooling from there mm. and then I had my um, graduation from Kurukshetra University. Along with that I had some courses with in Python and uh, in data science and coming to my um, personal life or coming to my family, I have a nuclear family. Mm. I have my mother and father and my younger brother. Mm. He is doing CA and my father is uh, ex serviceman, my mother is a homemaker. Okay. So you live in nuclear family, right? Yes. You also make some nuclear <laughs> not bombs. You no. make some atom bombs, nice, not like that. No. Okay, you belong to Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir. Yes, sir. Right, because it's the beautiful place, and people want to go there. But you were born there, so having birth in Jammu and Kashmir, how do you feel about it? Uh, I feel proud that I'm there, and because it's my hometown, mm. and everybody loves your hometown. Mm. I am also loving it but, mm. and uh, it's a great for me that I was I'm I was born there. What's is special in Jammu and Kashmir? So everything is special. Like apple. Yeah. And apart from apple like the valleys of Jammu and Kashmir. Valleys and the, we can call Jammu as a temple. Okay. Uh, city of temple mm. and there is a lot of th- places there you can visit and uh, Uh, there is a um, uh, if you coming in contact with the nature hmm. you feel much pleasure or uh, peace and uh, it's like you got a new life okay yes. so jammu and kashmir gives us new life jammu and kashmir gives yeah. us good vibes not good wife right it gives us good vibe so jammu and kashmir also makes us happy and fulfills it's like us it's like rejuvenating rejuvenating yes. right that's great it's like renovating as well Yeah. renewing as well right yeah. that's great today as you know that today we have a great expertise talks and in this expertise talks is related to actually python language so in python we will try to add some of the points like we can add chat gpt we can add ai artificial intelligence we can also add computing systems of india and of the world and we can also talk about the cobol java c++ and or different languages as we have right so i will be asking you different questions but before moving for this segment i would like to explore and i would like to know something about you more that when you chose python language as your uh, you know passion or just as for your profession how do you feel that time why did you select it because at that time when i chose python mm. i explore everything mm. i go to my seniors mm. my colleagues i ask them uh, what is going on in the market and uh, which, uh, whose which which language copes is, uh, is good in cup, in upcoming future but then everybody says that you should go with the java you should choose uh, js and all these things mm. but then i realized that everybody is going to become a web developer a software developer everyone is going to do all these things I, I, and uh, if we uh, see uh, in a single home there is the one developer mm. so uh, then i realized that if uh, i should choose something different mm. and that has a scope in a future Hmm. Then I uh, choose a Python you because Python. it's uh, easy to learn easy and to learn. Uh, having a n number of libraries. Hmm. We can go for uh, um, 
data science we can go for web development we mm. can do anything with this okay that's great exactly great answer that from you about python language right uh, but um, max number of the girls like they like to go may be makeup artists they like to go for the fashion designing they like to go for the ba normal bcom and they like to go for some you know music classes as well and they want to do the normal jobs but to being a girl you chose python it's quite difficult language to learn how because i like it I like it. You like it or it was a pressurize? It was like no, hope it's not a uh, pressure. Nobody pressurized me for this. Okay, so let's talk it's about something. Decision. Let's talk about some interesting parts about Python, right? First of all, my first question about Python language that what do you mean by Python? Python ka matlab kya hota hai? In uh, uh, journal, people will uh, say like it's a snake. Exactly. But uh, I know language programming language it doesn't mean a snake where the name ha was inspired from actually it was uh, the python language that the person developed his mm. name is good and right and then in 1989 uh, exactly. approximately mm -hmm. uh, he decided to build some languages because uh, uh, he has uh, in on a vacations mm. uh, to uh, engage himself mm. he started building uh, his own language mm. and uh, in the meanwhile he is mm. working uh, he's studying a script mm. uh, uh, yeah, it's a series of BBC nine, in nine, 1970s right. uh, their uh, name of, of uh, that series is Mount Python's uh, uh, circus something like, like this comedy circus right and uh, uh, he was inspired with this he's mm. a great fan of uh, that man mm. and then he realized that he's making a uh, language mm. so uh, he want to give it a, a unique name mm. that will be a unique mm. and uh, some mysterious mm. so he gave this name as uh, so do you think that choosing python language first of all it shows that snake right and it confuses us and it's also quite difficult for normal and general people to learn as we have different languages c plus plus java as you told cobol we no, have sir. we have swift as well but python what do you think about it is it is easy to learn yes sir. python is easy to learn how Just because if in a c c plus mm -hmm. you are writing a code we, first of all you have to import all these stuffs like uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, code uh, code syntax for mm -hmm. uh, uh, like we have to write something mm -hmm. we have to import a library or its name is iostream.h mm -hmm. in c++ mm -hmm. but in python you need not to import anything mm -hmm. you simply like uh, the way you are speaking mm -hmm. you just write these things it will be work okay it will work so work. which is the base language of this is it like binary it works on binary system decimal system hexadecimal works upon like what is the base of them sir there is only one language that binary. works uh, on uh, a zero one format or we can say it a binary language right. that is uh, understood only by a computer hmm. if we are starting uh, writing a code in a binary language hmm. our brain got blast oh. we don't know because there uh, everything is written in a code we hmm. don't know how to manage and we can't remember that code hmm. so for that we have developed some uh, high level languages hmm. for uh, so that we can understand the thing which we are writing if we can't understand when, then how we can explain to the other exactly and for that purpose hmm. uh, there is a number of languages as you told that java c++ ruby and uh, python and all hmm. so uh, in right like you were talking about yes to write the code in the python yes is easy because we know what we are writing and uh, it's not more complicated because mm. there is a n number of libraries mm. means uh, uh, the code that you required in your programming mm. it was written uh, written mm. and you just uh, use that code in your programming okay. and that plays a great role because uh, when you are doing some work you are working on a great project mm. you don't have time to build that libraries mm. if you start building that it will take a time mm. uh, in library uh, in python there is a facility that we can use it mm. and uh, it is it is a high level language mm. there which we need to convert it into a binary language every language is uh, will be converted into a uh, binary language uh, may be it, it will be by uh, assembler or a compiler or an interpreter mm. okay I will also talk to you interesting things but first of all I just want to understand some of the things as I just you know the Zen of the Python right what do you mean by the Zen of the Python uh, 
Actually, so I read it. It was a poem by Tim Peter. And it was beautiful is it better than ugly? Explicit is better than implicit. Simple is better than complex and complex is better than complicated. And this uh, poem that he wrote, it will display on your uh, system by only writing import this in exactly know. yes that's right and you go went through that but i think you just it was washed I can't out recall this. got it uh, understand that okay just if we uh, try to understand like we have php we have html we have http right yes. so what are the differences among all these http and html so html is a hypertext markup language right it means the things you are seeing in your website hmm. The, uh, like uh, your it was just like a skeleton hmm, hmm. you're just taking a, that uh, this type of things you want in your uh, uh, website hmm, hmm. and it will give you only a uh, things that you will build a tables or all these things but the, hmm. there is no any other thing that you can do with it hmm. and for designing purpose we hmm. use css okay. it's it's a cascading style sheet okay cascading style sheet Sheets. okay and when say if you are giving a like you want the want a radio button or you want anything in your sys, uh, website hmm. it will work with that okay and for giving a functionality hmm. you use a java script okay it will like a uh, like a brain of the website right. as as i give you an example there is a car hmm. uh, you uh, we will build a car hmm. uh, their structure skeleton is just a html hmm. and then there is a styling that we gave to it uh, it's a css hmm. and then uh, how brakes work hmm. how you use accelerator how you drive hmm. and all these are it's in javascript okay so you have explained to me about javascript html and, and css also yes. what is http that tells us shows us the photos actually pictures uh, http is like uh, if we call uh, something from the in uh, internet we want something mm -hmm. there is a request we send to the uh, uh, our search engine mm -hmm. http is that uh, maybe it, it is not that much secure mm -hmm. as compared to https mm -hmm. and it is just for a safety purposes oh, just for a safety purpose mm -hmm. okay who is the father of www tim berners lee father of google larry page and sergey Perin. father of ai uh, I remember it like I, Sam it, Altman, I, Sam Altman, Elon Musk, like Sam Altman, Elon Musk, OpenAI also established ChatGPT. Right. Okay. Let's move ahead. All right. We have multiple questions, multiple things to talk, talk about. Flavors of Python. Uh, it's like uh, Python uh, uh, with a uh, Python. It's a uh, J, uh, J, 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 Jithon. It's a Java plus Python. Java plus Python. Iron Python. Uh, it's a language. Dot .NET. Brighton. These are like uh, we when we come. Uh, Browser Python. Ruby Python. The language which we use is like uh, Ruby and Python. We combine it in a way that. Uh, That's Ruby. Gives okay. A, Micro Python. Okay, use my I fine I want to know some of the organizations or big companies or international companies name that which uses Python language so like uh, Google is using Facebook YouTube and then many other companies like IBM and some other also start working on it hmm. because it's a language uh, that we can use in uh, uh, AI is there any alternate of Python so if we are going for AI hmm. for a deep learning hmm. then you should work with it okay or if you want to go for a website you hmm. can use a, there is a number of languages like PHP Java C C++ which language is the toughest language in the computer so every language is toughest and every language is easy but you it, said in a starting that Python is the easiest it depends language. on a person okay so the, for you Python is easy but for you c++ may be difficult no so it's it's easy mm. if uh, we give our time to the uh, a particular language mm. we come to know the concepts of the language it will be easy for us mm. how to work with that but as compared to all other languages there is uh, python is much more easy okay great so just tell me about what do you mean by abacus 
A Becker's is a computer, sir. The first computer I bought. Yes, sir. Who was the father of the first computer? First computer was developed by Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, great. What was the work of the first computer? It's only for a computer uh, calculating purpose. Calculating purpose, Ma made of what? Uh, vacuum tubes. Woods, I think. Yeah. Yes. Right. What is difference between super and mainframe computer? Super computer is like uh, mini. Uh, that is the advanced version of that use that NASA uses. Hmm. Hmm. And mainframe is like. Uh, okay. What is difference among LAN, MAN, WAN, wide area network, local area network, metropolitan area, area network? Uh, local area network is like in a. Our uh, colleges and our schools and our companies mm -hmm. because there is uh, uh, only a s small place where we connect uh, networks and there is only a one router that we use Ma means when we establish a network mm -hmm. there we need a router mm -hmm. and uh, nobody is going to purchase a diff uh, many routers for a single particular form mm -hmm. uh, then they take up uh, a simple network that will uh, it's like a guard Yes. and uh, school guard and uh, in our school what is going on we, uh, that guard doesn't know hmm. uh, how we uh, 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 circulate uh, okay. things with hmm. it it's a local area network and when it we will use it uh, on a wide range hmm. that we connect uh, some company and companies hmm. company to company if hmm. we are connecting it's like a wide area network or, or like this great Great answers coming from you, all right, and uh, I'm really impressed and uh, I'd like to just go with some more questions and a few more questions, right, and I just want to ask you that uh, JavaScript has been, has it been influenced by Python? So, uh, uh, annual survey of 2023, mm -hmm. JavaScript uh, is on a leading role. Mm -hmm. It was the first language, it was on the top of the language that uh, everybody is preferred to do this. Okay. Because JavaScript is the language that you can use in a back end or even in a front end. Okay. And other languages you can't use as a front end. You are a website developer, like web developer. So how do you feel that, how much uh, connectivity you feel with Python language to the website development. Is it completely based upon it or there is a little connection? So, a Python language is a backend language. Hmm. We can de develop a logic with it, hmm. but for our uh, front end uh, logic and for our uh, front end design, we need HTML, CSS, and JS. Okay. Do you think that the people who run computer or operate computer for a long period of time, they get irritated very soon or uh, so, uh, everybody get irritated if uh, he is not going to uh, get the result that he wants. Okay. And if he started enjoying their work, mm -hmm. it will be amazing for them that they are doing great. Do you enjoy your work or do yes, you take sir. it as a pressure? No, I enjoyed my work. So you enjoyed also learning Python? Yes, sir. But I think it's quite difficult for me. Right. Okay. So. <clears throat> Uh, there was a survey as well told that in the primary schools uh, like python has been started tutoring uh, to the children and it is going to overrule the french is it really such so actually uh, in india hmm. 93 schools are there that are providing uh, python courses okay great in colleges and uh, uh, 1093 uh, colleges are there hmm. that provide it provides ai courses okay and uh, in a upcoming future our uh, uh, as we are going towards uh, ai hmm. and i think it's necessary for uh, everyone that they will start uh, as soon as possible so if they are giving uh towards students it's good for them if they are the point is that actually like you, you multiple people are youth generations are talking about ai 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 i don't understand that why to give this much importance to ai why not just to abstain or just protect ourselves from this artificial intelligence because there is only one intelligence that's human intelligence yes sir because uh, human can do things far better than a machine mm. but uh, there is a limitation of a human also mm. he can't calculate a, a, a 
fast number uh, number mm. he can't remember anything maybe he will be a biased mm. if uh, uh, there is someone if we are hiring someone mm. there is a chance that people are like saying he is my brother's friend mm. please do let him in mm. Mm. or the person who is more qualified mm. who has more skills mm. he will not get a, even a chance mm. even if we are giving uh, ai if we are using ai or we are feeding like all these uh, to our system mm. if that person is hiding it will just look out at their functionality that we need in our uh, as a developer that person that they need to hire mm. they he will just look at it so mm. there is no biasness okay so it means you want to say that you want to give the importance to the ai because ai had, doesn't have biasness and it, it has impartial so. and at some places it will be it will be somewhere because once i heard the news that uh, there was a, a guy he was playing chess with a robot and then robot you know just uh, uh, crushed his finger and then all the people came and lifted it and his finger was damaged exactly hurted so this so do you think that AI is completely unbiased? Alexa, no, Sophia, sir. and all these? It's not completely unbiased mm. because it was developed by a person. Mm. And the person who gave the algorithm, who fed the algorithm mm. to uh, AI, mm. it depends only on an algorithm, which type of algorithm he is using. Mm. Okay, fine, thank you. Okay, do you think that Python does not require a compiler? No sir, Python does not require, require compiler. compiler. Okay, Python is older than Java? Yes sir. Okay, Guido Van Rossum, who is this? He is a, uh, de uh, who developed the Python. Okay, which uh, which latest version has been launched of Python? Uh, so, Python... Uh, is it 3.9 or 3.10? 3.9. 3.9. And what's going to be next? Is it, it is good, going to be 4 or 3.10? So, so there is a uh, no major thing that will be uh, changed in our python mm -hmm. uh, so there is no possibility that uh, it will be python 4 okay fine interesting okay tell me three interesting factors or three interesting things about python so first thing is like that we can uh, do anything with it uh, if we are not interested in uh, data science mm. we can go for website mm. if we are not interested for this we can go for uh, ios mm. we can go for a uh, cloud computing mm. uh, we can explore a, a number of things with it okay and the thing is uh, uh, even a python is easy to learn mm. everybody can learn it in a quite a good manner mm. and it has uh, vast number of libraries okay and uh, therefore uh, because as a human we have our nature we can't three are completed i think right fine okay so i just wrote once you know to the chat gpt i said i want to commit suicide it did not provide me any information why what type of intelligence is it google provided me the information because it said i'm sorry i can't provide you this information go and and it's suggest. good no sir it's, it's good, good. Because the person who is depressed, hmm. he will ask AI how to die. Hmm. If he will provide the, uh, it will provide him the solution or give him the uh, things that uh, you can go with the, it. What will happen? The person will definitely die. Okay. And so it means that it is not providing the information for that negative is not, things. Yes, sir. I said I want to stab you. तुम्हें मैं चाकू मारना चाहता हूँ. It said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. So I think it has little intelligence or more intelligence. It is more intelligent. It is more intelligent than and the human. No, sir. Human is always. <laughs> human is always more intelligent. Last question. Why anybody should learn Python language or why he or she should know Python language? First of all, it's it's a person's uh, opinion that what with what he is going on, mm -hmm. he will continue his career. Mm -hmm. But according to me, it's mm -hmm. my point of view. Mm -hmm. If you are going uh, to learn Python, mm -hmm. you will definitely get the chance to build your interest in a coding. Mm -hmm. If you uh, firstly you took a hard step, mm -hmm. you you will like this. Uh, I can't do this. It's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, start with uh, little things. Start with little things. Start yeah. with the Python and learn the Python and be expert of this, right? Yes. Nidhika, it was amazing to have a conversation with you about expertise talks. It was about Python. And you gave interesting answers from your side because you gave me the perfect answers. Somewhere you got stuck, but uh, multiple questions, I got satisfactory answers. And it was amazing. Thank you so much. And may God bless you. Have a great day.